Greetings everyone, Doom Black Dragon bringing you some SL. Well, this is a game I've kind of gotten myself addicted to, and you know, since I'm playing it, I might as well share it with all you guys. Um, did I say S Zone or Zone? No. Um, it's been called S Zone Online, Stalker Online, Zone Online. I, I think Zone Online is the proper way to pronounce it. The S is supposed to be silent or something like that. And it's a fun game. It's like if you like Stalker, you're gonna love this game. Uh, since it is an MMO, the graphics, if you can tell, are not the best in the world. Uh, the game doesn't have iron sights, so if you want to zoom in with iron sights, then that's gonna be a problem. The only thing it does have is scopes. So, yeah, scopes are fairly cheap, about 10,000. Uh, Rubles, which it might sound like a lot of money, but this is kind of like Star Wars the Old Republic's credits will Rubles are of the value of Jack And gathering 10,000 is pretty easy I'm Gonna have to kill these to get through And um, right now I'm using uh, just the newbie assault rifle. Uh, when you start the game, um, shoot! And I'm see I'm bleeding. That's a th another thing from Stalker. So. Yeah, I'm a big Stalker fan. I was really sad when Stalker 2 got cancelled, but you know what? This group uh, came by and was like, hey, you know what? We'll make an MMO version of it. And it was like, okay, problem solved for me. So yeah, I'm uh, trying to get up to uh, another one of the main uh, areas. Oh, especially since I'm now flagged for PvP. Uh, the PvP in this game is very unique. This yellow bar is your wealth meter. When that hits full, you turn gold, meaning anyone can attack you, even out here in the newbie town. Now, I'm safe here, but I also want to get rid of these heads ASAP. Now there's two things you can do with uh, things you get from mutants. Um, here is the most effective way, you turn in the heads for ammo, but I have a good amount of ammo, in fact I have a little too much ammo, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, instead I'm going to go and sell the heads, uh, so as you can see already 1339 uh, rubles for just 10 heads. And I got some experience for selling uh, more than 10 items. But now I'm uh, trying to find my way over to this area. Now you're going to be seeing me come up and around and going through. And you're probably going to be wondering why. But there's a lot of these. Er this area is fenced off in a lot of places. So it makes it a little difficult to uh, run around and get somewhere. Oftentimes, you're just going to have to run around and uh, look for it. Uh, oh, and give me a second. Sorry about that. I was setting up my timer. Can't be going on a little too long with this. Now, in dangerous parts of the game, I'll probably just say. Uh... Ooh, sorry about that. A yawn. Uh, probably just play a bit through that area and just work my way to a safe zone to end the video. Of course, I use the term safe zone loosely. 
And even though that harmless rat uh, wasn't going to... Well, it wasn't uh, aggroing me right then and there. There is still the chance that it will aggro. I mean, a lot of the animals, it will aggro. Go for a headshot, you can get a one-hit kill. Uh, certain animals have a longer aggro range uh, than others. I don't know if I even want to try to pick up the dog corpses. Uh, dogs have a pretty decent range. Uh, things you have to literally worry about is spiders. They will attack you like a mile away. So the moment you see one, shoot it. Did I get it? I think this game is scan, uh, scan hitbox uh, like uh, Call of Duty. Where it's like, you'll see like impact of rounds, but you won't see a, a um, oh, I've killed a hundred dogs and gained 3000 experience. I did not know that was a thing in the game. Yeah, but the game you'll get experience for doing all sorts of things. Uh, I did not know I had only killed a hundred dogs. I thought I killed more. Maybe it was just a hundred plague dogs. No, it just says a hundred dogs as in general. Alright. So yeah, this is just the newbie city, um, as you can see, I'm only a level 8, and I'm still flagged for PvP, ooh, cause I forgot to turn it off. <laughs> see, once you drop your, uh, wealth meter down to zero, it doesn't automatically, uh, remove the PvP flag, you gotta go over here and click it, but... Since I'm not in a safe zone, I can't do that. Uh, and um, there are uh, there are to a certain degree classes in um, in this game. I do not know all the details and information about them because. It, the game has pretty much made it very vague, but then this game is still in development. Um, it's an early access game, and for being an early access game, it's a lot of fun. It is really well designed, I would say. So we are now in K13, and we gotta find the mushrooms. If you zoom in, yep. that's a boar. There's no boar spawned up here. Wired pig. Like I said, animals have uh, odd aggro radius. Oh, dang it. And I don't think I can escape this one. We'll give it a try, but um, what happens is I'm in capped and I'm just going to sleep off the injury. I'm going to still be injured, but... It's going to be like a uh, lesser uh, injury. But yeah, if I get instant in cat from being in an anomaly, it's just that. Alright. Oh, no, no.
That sucked. Oh well. And as you can see, this is my character. I am an alien, as they call it. Basically, it's a non-native to the area. Uh, you hit F4, and you can go in the first-person view. Those aren't used for any res uh, any requirements to get stuff, so you can just sell them for just flat-out rubles. Here's a doctor. He'll give you a m uh, health. You can see your buffs and debuffs are over here. As you can see, I have light armor, so my uh, re my speed has been reduced a little. I have a gas mask, so uh, I c take less damage from uh, uh, gas anomalies and that stuff. And I'll just repair all my gear. And yeah, one of the things the game doesn't really have is an anomaly detector yet. Um, I wish they would bring it out. Because uh, you can see, it gets uh, really hard to uh, judge uh, whether you're um, going to die from anomaly or not. Uh, Okay, I guess I have to wait for the full uh, timer over here in this corner. Yeah, that was it. Alright. I didn't really like that, uh, but oh well. I guess it prevents people from like PKing and then running into a place uh, where it, uh, PvP is supposed to be um, offline and uh, keeping them from uh, uh, keeping them safe. Uh, you will see PKers in this game, um, player killers. Uh, you'll know this. You'll know them because they will sh um, show up on the map. Well, not on the map, but actually on your screen uh, as a name in a big red skull. So yeah, it's like if I was to be looking at this building and there was a PKer behind it. I would see their name and a red skull behind it. Which is a nice little mechanic. This game definitely uh, does have a PvP aspect of it, but it's more of a do it at your own risk. Uh, PvP is a little more punished than rewarded. Um, killing a player and uh, slicing, slicing their throat. Uh, when you uh, in-cap a player, you have to then run up and kill them and slice their throat. And when you do, it will force them to respawn, and they have a chance of dropping a sack full of goods. I have uh, have killed a few PKers already. I've done that. Um, doesn't seem to punish you for killing PKers uh, that are uh, um, killing people. In fact, uh, I, I didn't see any punishment whatsoever uh, for PK and uh, or killing a player killer. Which, I like that. I like that, you know, the game's like, okay, you don't want to be a bandit, you want to be a bounty hunter, well, here's a reward. Um, it, yeah, the PKer was flagged PvP because he was uh, killing players, and, you know, even though I'm not flagged for PvP, I could just walk up and gun him in the back of the head and be rewarded for it. I know some people might think that's a terrible idea because, you know, it ruins the aspect of being a bandit. But being a bandit in this game is not like DayZ where you kill a person and they drop 100% of their items. They'll drop maybe like a, a dog head or some ammo and that stuff. Uh, it's rare that they will drop any gear. I, I haven't seen anyone drop any gear actually. I've just seen items in the bag be dropped. Even though, you know, uh, looking at the gear, I can go into the info and it says, uh, has a chance of dropping on respawn. Respawn is what I did earlier with uh, that uh, anomaly that I was trapped in. Which, uh, 
I've never seen gear drops, and uh, I'm quite, I think it has a very low chance, because when you look at some of the gear later on, they have such a high value, it's like, uh, the next, uh, levels, uh, stupid pig. Uh, the next few levels of weapons, uh, go from being, uh, um, the starter weapons being 20,000 to all the way up instantly to 50,000. Oh, okay, that's what I'm looking for. I've never done this quest before, so I didn't know what to look for, but it's actually nice to know that it just... Has a nice little highlight. I just have to worry about uh, grabbing the wrong ones and the pigs. And you notice I wasn't taking much damage from these. That's because I have the breathing mask on. As you can see, I'm taking like no damage. In fact, I'm going up in HP. Uh, if I didn't have the gas mask on and I walked up to those, I would have taken probably a good chunk of damage. Um, there's a note in here for this quest. Read, uh, first thing you should know is that there's some um, deadly mushrooms here that give you spore disease. I won't uh, read the whole thing off, but it, it's, uh, it goes into pretty nasty detail about how uh, devastating this is. And it kind of looked like there was an artifact floating up there. Right now, the only artifacts I've seen are uh, a broken screen and a screen A. Screen A, I came across my pure luck here in the newbie uh, city. I don't know if it's a super rare spawn or if someone just dropped it there. Thinking someone might have dropped it uh, when they got killed by a dog. Because th there's a quest that says uh, um, it can't be uh, found in the newbie area. And you can go over here and uh, this really isn't anything. Uh, it looks cool. Looks like it should have something of importance, but... Every time I've been here, there's nothing. Uh, no artifacts, uh, no anomalies, it's just this glowing, floating rocks uh, type deal. See, and I won't even get hurt being in here. And yeah, you, you can't go around this fence. You, I mean, you can't get... Uh, the only way to go around this fence is the way I came into. So yeah, it, it's a big pain in the rear. And you'll see that here in a minute because I will have to go um, to Sour to deliver the mushrooms, who is, you know, just beyond this fence. Whereas I need to get four more mushrooms for him. He says he's making a medicine out of these mushrooms. And Sour's a pretty nice guy. He doesn't seem to be the type that screws you over. He's definitely not working for uh, the local crime syndicate. In fact, the local crime syndicate kind of hates me, but I still have a couple of their quests. I wouldn't say they hate me, it's just more, uh, well, not seeing eye to eye, but uh, they don't consider me as an enemy. So as you, I can see, oh, no, that's not the button. I'll just go in here and here's your reputation. See, everyone's neutral with me. Uh, the military is kind of loving me. I've been doing a lot of their quests. Uh, this is the um, criminal faction, the Crow Forest. If you notice, there is a group that says Wanderer, uh, Native, and Alien. Those the three races, I believe, right now in the group. Wanderer and Alien are the only ones you can pick. So, uh, yeah. And each uh, race comes with its own uh, set of the classes. So, as you can see, I chose uh, um, Military Sniper as my class. I know, I'm using a, a mich an assault rifle, but I haven't seen any rifles uh, so far in the game. Well... 
rifles I can get. Rifles, sniper rifles. Only sniper rifles I've seen that I can get is um, with the golden rubles, which is um, a, a cash shop basically. And this isn't a real pay to win type deal. I mean, yes, you're paying for better gear, but it's not permanent. It's only for like two to three days. At Fifteen, I think I saw was the max. And the um, advantage you get with it is not really that big of an advantage. And like I said, uh, since uh, you can actually turn off your PvP flag and that stuff, I don't feel that it would considered pay to win. You guys might call it pay to win because of that. But, uh, you know, when I'm uh, not flagged and I can walk up and just uh, point blank uh, unload my newbie assault rifle into a PKer's back, I really don't consider the, him buying stuff uh, from the gold shop as a pay to win aspect because he's vulnerable and I'm not. Yes, he can defend my, himself from me because I've now opened up fire. But, you know, that's kind of one reason why you want to just walk up point blank to him and uh, unload. I say him because there is no female models yet. But also, again, like I've said numerous times, this game is being uh, developed. Damn pig. So a lot of things are undeveloped. Uh, like I said, I think the local class is, uh, or the local species, you know, race, um, is uh, not in the game currently. There's only two of the three races, and if I remember right from the intro, or from the character creation, it was uh, the Wanderer and the Alien. And since I am actually American, I'm not from uh, Russia or even Eastern Europe, uh, Asia, whatever you want to consider Russia to be as. I've heard people say Ru uh, Eastern Europe, I've seen them say uh, Asia, because, you know, it, it, it goes over both. Uh, Europe and Asia, it, it connects the two together. So, it, technically, they're not wrong yeah, when they call it Asia or Eastern Europe. I guess just where in uh, Russia you're at, it doesn't matter. Sorry for the stuttering, I kind of lost a bit of my train of thought. I was trying to decide uh, whether what to say, you know talk in here, well, messages sometimes they get jumbled up as they travel from the brain to the mouth. So yeah, I gotta kill these dogs and go through their territory again. Um, after getting through their territory, I'll have to head all the way down to the starting area of the newbie zone. And I'll show you some people to get some quests for. Uh, I don't think I can do any of the quests because uh, I've uh, done them once already and it hasn't been 12 hours. Uh, I think 7 p.m. at my time would be the earliest I'd be able to do some of the quests. Uh, dailies that uh, you can do twice a day um, because they have a 12 hour lockout. I don't know if that dog's going to aggro, so I'd rather just shoot it and uh, get it done and over with. Uh, one of your things with your wealth bar is going to pertain to everything in your bag. So med packs, ammo, um, dog heads, uh, that type of deal, that's all going to add up on your wealth. Uh, my wealth is actually pretty high because I'm stocked up with a lot of ammo. And one thing it doesn't count is quest items. So, I'll show you here in a second. I have a, this quest item called a lighter, which is 500 rubles. It uh, doesn't, if I put it in the bank or keep it out, it doesn't change my value. 
Um, same with uh, these Littles. But of course, those are zero. Uh, this arena is 2,000 for two, but it doesn't count towards your thing. You can stick it in the bank and it will uh, just sit there doing nothing. I really don't know what the uh, arena is. It sounds like a PvP area, but um, it could be a PvE area as well because uh, Stalker did have an arena in its games. Well, you could push, uh, compete uh, for money and supplies. And if it's like the original Stalker's Arena, I would love that. Where it just puts you up against an NPC and give you random gear. It's like, uh, that was so much fun. Especially the level of difficulty it added to the game. Because, you know, one game, one uh, match you know, might be facing off uh, with a guy in an assault rifle and all you have is a pistol. Or in another match, uh, you have uh, um, a knife and <laughs> grenades. I'm not even joking. The game literally gave you just a knife and grenades. And it, you had to kill two people in that match. Which, uh, you had to play sneaky and stealthy and that stuff. So I'm coming over here to sell the dog heads because I want to lose my, uh, oh, and the boar stuff. Because I want to lose my, um, uh, PvP status. Because uh, even though I'm here in the newbie area, there is still PKers. Um, sometimes noobs uh, will actually run around and just uh, flagging themselves to kill each other and take their gear. Now I have a choice between going down this road or this road. Uh, that road, uh, well, this road or this alley. Uh, the road has a bunch of uh, full-grown dogs, uh, which uh, you know will give me um, uh, better loot if they drop it. That's if, but they also have a ridiculously high respawn rate, and they hit pretty hard. Uh, so I kind of avoid that area. I'd rather go here and kill a few of the puppies and um, grab their heads and turn it in for some ammo. I know I said uh, I was uh, overburdened with ammo, but you know, you're gonna burn through ammo so fast, you might as well just keep a big surplus. Bad dog. So yeah, you're gonna burn through ammo like crazy. I got those two. Yeah, you saw earlier, I probably started off with like, uh, um, what was it, 800, and now I'm down to 650. Oh, not 650, but 672. Um, so yeah, you do go through ammo a bit fast. Um, you do also want to try to carry light, but uh, I find that it's a nice little difficult trying to balance out if you're having too much items, whether it be ammo or just loot from a animals, and loot on the ground. Uh, if I find any loot, I will definitely show it to you guys. Uh, loot in this game is... Kind of like a chest in, in normal fantasy MMOs, where you're just walking around and you find a chest, then you just open it up and grab what's inside. Loot is kind of on that same aspect. Now you might notice my character uh, sometimes uh, running uh, on its own. Uh, the game does have an auto run feature, but I don't like the system they went with. Where if you hit W twice, you'll start auto running like this. Well, auto walking. Then you can hit shift to auto run. But uh, like I said, it, you then have to hit W a second time to stop it. And this is the kindergarten place. One of the most dangerous places so far that I've come across. 
Uh, reason I say that is, you see these spiders? These have a big aggro radius. In fact, I'm going to grab what they have on them. They will aggro you on this side of the fence and charge around trying to get to you. And they have a ridiculously fast respawn timer. So they are extremely dangerous because you'll kill one only for like 10 more to pop up and attack you. Those are all players. I have no idea what they're doing. They're noobs, so they obviously don't understand the no the PvP mechanic. And I'm hoping these aren't one of those self-entitled noobs. Um. Someone made a video on YouTube about guides to this game, and the person made probably one of the most jackass videos ever. He's like, one of the best ways to get loot is to walk up to an experienced elite player and try to get uh, and trade with them, and they'll give you their hand-me-downs. Well, I have no problem with people giving new players their hand-me-downs. This came up to a problem where every new player who sees anyone with gear that looks nicer than what they have on will run up to you and try to trade. I've gathered the mushrooms. Let me give them uh, to uh, the doctor so he'll immediately start processing them into medicine. I hope you didn't uh, forget about the mask as soon as... Uh, my pa patient patients get better they will need a uh, griff uh, graffiti mask for collecting mushrooms for your efforts <laughs> you'll uh, get another mask uh, the toad which is much more comfortable no I haven't forgotten here's the mask now I can send over now I can send over one of the newbies as soon as they get well. Hope you are happy and happy you won't have to run for the mushrooms every day. Finish dialogue. So I've lost my old mask, but I've gotten a better one. So equipping does take a second. So let us uh, put it, uh, let's take a look at the new mask. Oh yeah. See, so remember the first mask I had only covered up half my face. Now this covers up a full chunk of my face. No. See, this is the problem. See, this guy comes up to a, a person with slightly better gear than what he has on and thinks they have something to give him. I really hate to, that jackass for saying that. So yeah, if you don't believe me, look it up as zone videos. You look up how to get gear, and a person will basically say, "Come out to uh, one of the areas at night and uh, send uh, invites to the newbie or to the veterans that stand around, and uh, they'll give you a gear." Which okay, he said a specific place, but this uh, kind of uh, means to everyone that. Uh, What's it called? Yeah, you just want to talk with uh, all the NPCs, see if they got any quest. Oh, okay, so that's it for this episode. Tune in next time.